Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Proja and today we're going to be going over two of the best free image editors available for YouTube thumbnails, graphics and more. I'm not going to lie, I personally use Photoshop CC for all my graphics, but these are great alternatives if you don't want to pay for a subscription or for the program as a whole. Plus these work very similar to Photoshop and only lack the brand and some tools that Photoshop offers. So the two best free image editors for YouTube thumbnails and graphic design are Paint.net and GIMP. Although Photoshop has always been the go-to for graphics, the majority of people can't swallow the hefty price tag or the £7 a month subscription. If you ask most YouTubers what they use for their graphics, chances are it'll be Photoshop. That doesn't mean that it's a bad thing though, because whilst Photoshop might be more powerful than any free alternative, these won't cost you a penny and will bring speed, simplicity and convenience to your project. So let's start with GIMP. With this program you have the most functionality of Photoshop minus the intuitive interface. You do have most if not all features you could ever possibly need to make thumbnails though. It has layers, effects and tools the same as Photoshop and you can do colour correction, enhanced contrast, brightness and much more. You can also sharpen and blur images, fix perspective problems, add graphical elements etc. You do have full layer support and Photoshop tools such as Clone, Heal, Magic Wand to name a few. It also has support for plugins meaning you can literally do so much more with the program by loading a huge library of content. Its interface is also customizable though and whilst it's not that quick to get grips with because of its confusing but almost identical layout to Photoshop, you will have to put in time to learn it. Saying that it will outperform all other alternatives if you're familiar with it. And next on the list is Paint.net. This is really easy to get used to but doesn't produce as professional results as GIMP or Photoshop, but that's just my experience. There's probably tons of people who can utilize this software better than me. If you really want to get something close to Photoshop then GIMP is your answer. However, if all you want to do is add elements and do touch-ups and make adjustments, this is a great option. Imagine this to be a lightweight version of Photoshop. Here you've got plenty of options for resizing and rotating photos, a good range and selection of paint tools and some effects too. Paint.net also has full layer support which means that you can apply edits to only certain parts of the image. It even has plugins which means you can extend and customise the program to suit your needs. To add to this list you have a huge community if you need any help and simple but powerful tools. Whilst it does have fewer features than GIMP, its interface is awesome and spot on for new users. So overall if you're starting out I'd go with Paint.net because of its interface, but with GIMP if you want something closer to match the power of Photoshop. These are the two which I think are the best, so if you use any others and want to suggest them, comment down below. Anyway guys, that's it, hope you have enjoyed. If this video helped you out and you want to see more software tips and tutorials, give it a like and if you didn't, you guys know what to do. If you have any suggestions for new videos, drop a comment down below or tweet at me using at Protram. As always, have a good one. This has been Proto, adios.